Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Ralph Cicerone, President of the National Academy of Sciences, and it's an absolute pleasure and an honor to uh, engage with this presentation ceremony tonight. It's part of our 153rd annual meeting of the National Ca Academy of Sciences, and I want just to explain for a moment how the ceremony will go. <clears throat> we will honor those who were elected to membership and foreign associate membership uh, last year. And we will ask each person to come to the stage to be duly recognized individually and to sign in to our great book. <clears throat> the ceremony is a fairly formal event in the sense that it's traditional using kind of a time-honored practice, and we take it very seriously. On the other hand, it's also turned out to be an enjoyable event. There will be Frisbees launched and <laughs> uh, possibly a little cheering, and <clears throat> partly because so many family members and guests of the newly elected members are here. <clears throat> Everyone, certainly the new members, but definitely their family members understand the amount of work required over the years to attain this level of recognition uh, <clears throat> elected by your fellow members. So it's meant to be enjoyable and I think people will treat it that way. So the way it will work is that we will call each new member from 2015 forward one by one, call his or her name, and <clears throat> that individual will sign the great book, uh, and our home secretary, Professor Susan Wessler, will oversee that in case any ink spills or whatever. <laughs> Every once in a while, someone has to be directed a little bit as to where on the book. Uh, <clears throat> and I will read a brief citation summarizing that individual's research and other services for which they're being recognized. At the end of that group, we will then proceed to the foreign associate signing in, each individual again, and our, our, our foreign secretary, Professor John Hildebrand, will lead that part of the ceremony. Uh, <clears throat> at the end of that, we will then make a call for anyone who was elected to the academy in previous years to come forward who might not have made it to his or her appropriate year. Now this usually doesn't happen because most, most everyone's here tonight. Uh, but we do think there is one individual who we will recognize tonight. And I just want to alert you that if anyone has in mind doing a little imposter act, uh, <laughs> we have ways of watching. We don't <laughs> but seriously, if anyone has not been recognized from a previous year, uh, about whom we don't know, please identify yourself as we go along. <clears throat> the presentation ceremony booklet, I hope, I think is helpful. It has photographs of each newly elected person with just a statement about their home institution. It does not in include the complete citation, which we will read. So, shall we begin? I think it's, it's going to be quite inspiring if it's as usual. So let's call forward the first, <clears throat> alphabetically, of the new members elected in 2015, Gabrielle Apley. <clears throat> Apley's pioneering exploitation of particle accelerators has demonstrated quantum state preparation in silicon and yielded the correlations among strongly interacting electrons that are responsible for phenomena, including quantum phase transitions and edge states in quantum fluids. Nancy Andrews. <laughs> Nancy Andrews. 
Andrews has been a leader in the renaissance of iron biology. She pioneered using mouse models to discover genes that are important in diseases of iron homeostasis. Stephen Balbus. <laughs> Balbus conceived the solution to the fundamental problem in astrophysics of how disks accrete matter and with colleagues demonstrated the validity of this mechanism by numerical simulation. Brenda Bass. <laughs> Bass pioneered understanding of uh, functions of double-stranded RNA and proteins mediating these roles. She discovered ADAR RNA editing enzymes and functions of the RNA interference enzyme DICER. Robert Bates. <laughs> Bates, a political economist, has made seminal contributions to the study of development, agriculture, and political violence. He is the most prominent Africanist in political science. Marlene Behrman. <laughs> Behrman's research has revealed basic computational principles of visual learning and plasticity and advanced our understandings of the psychological and neural mechanism underlying perception. Joseph Berry. <laughs> Berry has made pioneering discoveries that link plant physiology to global biogeochemistry to predict and measure rates of photosynthesis and water usage for Earth system models. Eric Betzig. <laughs> Betzig has led a revolution in the field of high resolution optical microscopy, including the invention of novel microscopies with sub wavelength nanometer resolution. Sue Biggins. <laughs> Biggins discovered that Aurora B kinase controls spindle checkpoint and kinetophore function and discovered that tension directly stabilizes kinetophore <coughs> microtubule attachments to ensure accurate cell division. Marianne Bronner.
Bronner has conducted pioneering research on the gene regulatory interactions and cell fate decisions of neural crest cells, thereby illuminating critical aspects of vertebrate development. Adam Burroughs. <laughs> Burroughs has played a leading role in supernova theory and has developed the theoretical framework for the study of both brown dwarf and extrasolar planets. Aravinda Chakravarti. <laughs> Chakravarti made many contributions to human genomics and coupled state-of-the-art genomic methods with functional biological studies to unravel the molecular pathogenesis of Hirschsprung disease and provide a model for the genetic architecture of other complex diseases. Dorothy Cheney. <laughs> Cheney has pioneered an understanding of cognition in primates, revealing how monkeys process social information and how they employ symbolic signaling. R. Graham Cooks. <laughs> Cooks introduced new concepts that promote rapid chemical analysis. These include ionization of samples in the ambient environment, imaging of biomarkers, and drugs directly in tissue. Ricardo Dalla Favra. <laughs> Dalla Favra identified major mechanisms, chromosome translocation and DNA amplification, and key genes, CMYC, BCL6, underlying common forms of human B cell lymphoma. Angus Deaton. <laughs> Deaton, a leading economist, has made important contributions to the measurement of poverty, health, well-being, consumer demand, and inequality. Gary Dell. <laughs> Dell's seminal work in psycholinguistics uses successful speech generation and speech errors to develop models of speech production, including changes associated with forms of brain damage. Catherine Dulac. <coughs> <laughs> 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 
Dulac has elucidated molecular and neural mechanisms that underlie several sex-specific social behaviors, including pheromone detection, mating, aggression, and parenting. Scott Edwards. <laughs> Edwards has pioneered the use of museum, genomic, and analytical approaches to understand how species diverge and, and how they vary geographically and how their genomes evolve. Alex Eskin. <laughs> Eskin developed the theory of ergodic actions in quotient spaces of Lie groups and in moduli spaces, giving applications to problems in number theory and dynamics of billiard balls. Daniel Fisher. <laughs> Fisher's seminal work in classical and quantum disordered systems, nonlinear dynamics, and population biology has deepened our understanding of spin glasses, type two semiconductors, sliding charge density waves, and quantum phase transitions. Donald Geeman. <laughs> Geeman's contributions to stochastic processes, image processing, computer vision, machine learning, and computational medicine have led to widely used methods in high dimensional data analysis. Alfred Goldberg. <laughs> Goldberg has made seminal contributions to understanding the mechanisms and, psych and physiological importance of protein degradation in eliminating misfolded proteins in, mus in muscle atrophy and in antigen presentation. Steve Granick. <laughs> Granick's research on macromolecular surfaces defines the subject. He showed how to alter the molecular structure of surfaces to achieve new and interesting properties. Cheap ha. <laughs> ha pioneered the development and application of single molecule fluorescence methods to advance our understanding of the structural dynamics of nucleic acids and nucleic acid interacting enzymes. Alan Hastings. <laughs> A leading theoretical ecologist, Hastings' research has elucidated the dynamics of natural populations, allowing better conservation of biological diversity, the control of pests, and management of fisheries.
Sheng Yang Ha. Ha's elucidation of the mechanisms by which pathogenic bacteria infect plants reveals how pathogen virulence factors manipulate host immune and hormone systems to cause disease. <laughs> Martin Head Gordon. Ed Gordon is a leader in electronic structure theory, working to adapt formally exact but intractable quantum mechanics into com computable models that are accurate enough for chemistry and efficient enough to be practical. Alan Hinnebush. <laughs> Hinnebush unraveled a ribosome skipping mechanism for translational regulation that is widespread throughout eukaryotes and made seminal contributions to the understanding of transcriptional regulation. Ralph Holloway. <laughs> Holloway, Holloway is recognized as the leading figure of paleoneurology because he has spearheaded our understanding of human brain structure in fossils dating back millions of years. Laura Hooper. <laughs> Hooper has pioneered analyses of how the gut microbiota impact the innate immune system, notably facets of mucosal barrier function, including antimicrobial peptide production. Joseph in Candela. <laughs> in Candela's leadership in the discovery of the Higgs boson included major construction tasks, co-directing the science effort, and serving as leader and scientific spokesperson of the CMS experiment at the Large Hadron Collider. Matthew Jackson. Jackson is a leader in the theory of economic and social networks. His work helps illuminate labor markets, economic development, and the spread of ideas. Christine Jacobs Wagner. <laughs> Jacob, Jacobs Wagner's work revealed the dynamic spatial organization of bacterial cells necessary for cell cycle and cell morphogenesis functions and transformed the way bacterial cells are viewed and studied.
Maria Jason. <laughs> Jason discovered that mammalian cells repair breaks by homologous recombination of non-homologous end joining, revealing steps in chromosomal translocation, meiotic progression, and for genome modification. Robert Kahn. <laughs> Kahn was responsible for the system design of ARPANET, the pioneering packet network for fundamental principles of open architecture networking, and with SURF for the design and implementation of the protocols that underlie the internet. Aaron Kapotonik. <laughs> Kapotonik's groundbreaking experimental studies of emergent properties of strongly interacting quantum fluids has advanced our understanding of symmetry breaking in superconducting materials. Harvey Carton. <laughs> Carton is the world's leading comparative neuroanatomist. He has greatly advanced knowledge of brain circuitry of bird brains and is recognized for important theoretical and experimental contributions to understanding forebrain structure, function, and evolution. Stephen Cleaver. <laughs> Cleaver identified key metabolic pathways mediated by nuclear receptors, especially PPAR gamma as the receptor for the TCD diabetes drugs and PXR as a crucial xenobiotic receptor. Catherine Kling. <laughs> Kling has contributed fundamental insights into the, into the design of environmental markets, such as markets for ecosystem services and pioneered methods to evaluate environmental amenities. I told you that there would be cheering sections. <laughs> Jeannie Lee. <laughs> Lee has elucidated the mechanisms and functions of a new class of epigenetic regulators known as long, long non-coding RNAs using the complex X chromosome inactivation pathway as a model system for study. Warren Leonard. <laughs> Warren Leonard. 
Leonard defined chains of the interleukin-2 receptor, discovered IL-2R gamma was shared by additional receptors, and defined the basis for X-linked, JAK3 deficient, and IL-7R deficient severe combined immunodeficiency diseases. Margaret Levy. <laughs> Levy's work has illuminated central yet elusive social political concepts of legitimacy and compliance with authority, and also explained how and why labor unions benefit non members. James Liao. <laughs> Liao developed novel metabolic pathways and microbe-based processes for synthesizing higher alcohols from sugar, cellulose, and pro protein and carbon dioxide to be used as next generation biofuels. John Liss. <laughs> Liss discovered a regulated pause step in transcription elongation in higher eukaryotes. He developed methods to demonstrate the universality and importance of this step in transcriptional regulation. Victoria Lundblad. <laughs> Lundblad discovered that a defect in telomere replication causes replic replicative senescence and genetically identified telomerase protein subunits and how telomerase is recruited to chromosome ends. Glenn McDonald. <laughs> McDonald has been a leader in establishing high latitude feedbacks between climate change and ecosystems and linking these dynamics with human impacts. Renu Mahaltra. <laughs> Mahaltra opened a new view of the formation and evolution of the solar system through her studies of gravitational resonances and planetary migration. Jitendra Malik. Malik developed mathematical, empirical, and algorithmic foundations for computer vision. His fundamental work enabled many of today's well-known successful, successful vision applications.
Thomas Malik. <laughs> Malik is a leader in materials and nanoscience, solar energy research, and electrochemistry for development of artificial photosynthetic systems, including self-assembling molecular arrays for water splitting. Joachim Messing. <laughs> Messing pioneered the field of genomics and semi-synthetic genes and applied insights to the enhancement of nutrition. Jeffrey Miller. <laughs> Miller discovered diversity generating retroelements and the unique mechanism of nucleotide specific mutagenic retrohoming, which introduced diversity in target genes to accelerate the evolution of adaptive traits. Randall Moon. <laughs> Moon studies of the Wnt family signaling proteins revealed conserved roles and mechanisms of, ac of action in embryos, regeneration, progenitor cells, as well as diseases including cancer. Tomasz Mrówka. <laughs> Mrówka, with co-author Kronheimer, has established many seminal theorems about gauge theories in low dimensions, profoundly altering our view of three and four dimensional spaces. Shaul Mukamel. <laughs> Mukamel has shaped the field of coherent multidimensional infrared and optical spectroscopy by creating a unified description using Louisville space pathways. His theories have guided applications to molecular liquids, semiconductors, and biological systems. Catherine Murphy. <laughs> Murphy is a pioneer in the application of inorganic nanocrystals to understand biological systems. She has developed critical synthetic methods for the production of nanoparticles relevant to numerous technologies. Daniel Newmark. <laughs> Newmark pioneered the transition state spectroscopy of benchmark chemical reactions. His femtosecond time-resolved experiments on water cluster anions and liquid water microjets have yielded fundamental insights into hydrated electron dynamics.
Eba Nogales. Nogales has utilized electron microscopy to revolutionize our understanding of the structure and assembly of tubulin and microtubules and the architecture of transcription initiation complexes. James Paterba. Poterba's empirical analysis elucidates the effects of taxation and government programs on retirement security. He also has conducted important research on unemployment, housing markets, and stock market dynamics. Lalita Ramakrishnan. Ramakrishnan uncovered fundamental mechanisms of pathogenesis relevant to human tuberculosis using a zebrafish larva model of disease, also overturning previous dogma concerning tuberculosis granulomas. Danny Rainberg. Rainberg has made numerous key discoveries involving RNA polymerase two mediated transcription and the intricacies of several epigenetic phenomena, including networks and roles in regulating mammalian gene expression. Rebecca Richards Cortum. <laughs> Richards Cortum is a pioneer in the delivery and development of miniature low cost optical imaging systems for the detection of infectious diseases and cancer in low resource settings. Jennifer Richardson. <laughs> Richardson uses cognitive, social, and social neuroscience methods to study prejudice and processes linked to interracial contact, including consequences for executive function and self-regulation. John Rogers. <laughs> Rogers has developed stretchable electronic materials and devices that are compatible with biological tissues. This has led to bio-integrated electronics for therapeutic medical systems and for real-time health monitors. Rodney Rothstein. <laughs> Rothstein pioneered recombinatorial editing of genomes to identify genes involved in genome stability. He used in vivo imaging to reveal cellular responses to DNA damage. Robert Sholkoff. <laughs> 
Sholkoff's pioneering work in high-speed measurements at ultra-low temperatures has included numerous innovations, including solid-state qubits and the new field of circuit quantum electrodynamics. Julian Schroeder. Schroeder has identified plant ion channels and their functions, describing how they regulate the opening and closing of stomata and leaves and how they mediate salt tolerance. Tara Seeger. <laughs> Seeger is a world leader in the atmospheres and interior structure of exoplanets, that is, planets around other stars other than the sun, with her work leading to the first detection of an exoplanet atmosphere. Jeffrey Severinghaus. <laughs> Severinghaus uses the record of atmospheric gases trapped in polar ice to understand the relationship of atmospheric greenhouse gases and past or paleo climate, climate change. Du Xuin Shen. <laughs> Shen's pioneering development of novel spectroscopic and imaging tools of quantum matter has been critical in elucidating fundamental and applied aspects of these complex materials. Steven Schenker. <laughs> Schenker's work and research have had a major impact on fields as diverse as quant uh, condensed matter physics, quantum field theory, and perturbative and non-perturbative aspects of string theory and quantum gravity. Lauren Steinman. <laughs> Steinman's discoveries on the molecular basis for lymphocyte homing to the brain in relapsing multiple sclerosis has led to an effective approved therapy for multiple, multiple sclerosis. Carl Svoboda. <laughs> Svoboda has analyzed both single synapses and complex circuits, elucidating novel mechanisms that underlie synaptic plasticity as well as sensory and motor behaviors. Lisa Tox. <laughs> Tox.
Fox studies the past intensity of the Earth's magnetic field. She has developed new techniques for characterization of Earth's geomagnetic field behavior throughout Earth history. Richard Taylor. <laughs> Taylor's extraordinary contributions to number theory have led to the solution of several major long-standing conjectures in number theory, including Fermat's last theorem. Jeremy Thorner. <laughs> Thorner has dissected proteolytic maturation of a yeast peptide pheromone, thus discovering the prototype enzyme critical for eukaryotic prohormone processing. He identified the first MAP kinase and made numerous discoveries concerning cellular age signaling. Moshe Vardy. <laughs> Vardy established logic as a unifying formalism in computer science with profound impact on database theory, knowledge theory, finite model theory, and computer system verification. Leslie Vossall. <laughs> Vossall has identified and characterized insect odorant receptors and the brain circuits that they activate, providing a foundation for understanding how odor stimuli are perceived and processed. William Ward. <laughs> Ward discovered the obliquity oscillations of Mars, demonstrated that planets can migrate as they grow, and co-discovered the giant impact theory of the moon's origins. How Wu. <laughs> Wu has revised our understanding of the molecular mechanisms underlying innate immune, immune signaling by discovering that large oligomeric signalosomes are central mediators of innate immune receptors. Su Chen Zhang. <laughs> Zhang's prediction of a new state of quantum matter, the quantum spin hall state, was quickly confirmed experimentally as the first topological insulator, a major milestone in condensed matter physics.
Rene Bayerjong. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me. We're supposed to have John Hildebrand sue my fault. Uh, Dr. Bayerjong is the first of the new foreign associates whom we will recognize tonight. Renee Bayerjean. <laughs> Bayerjean's elegant experiments with infants reveal remarkably early conceptual abilities in the areas of physical, psychological, biological, and moral reasoning. Nancy Carrasco. Carrasco was the first to characterize at the molecular level the sodium iodide supporter, NIS, a key molecule in thyroid hormone biosynthesis that plays a central role in thyroid cancer treatment. John Laurent Casanova. <laughs> Casanova discovered that life-threatening infectious diseases that strike otherwise healthy children of young adults or young adults can be caused by single gene inborn errors of, Im of immunity. Alexander Holliday. <laughs> Holliday makes isotope measurements to address terrestrial planet evolution, most notably the timing of accretion, core formation, and volatile loss, that is the loss of volatile material on Earth and the Moon. Nancy Ip. <laughs> Ip's studies on the molecular mechanisms of neural development and plasticity have advanced our understanding of how the brain functions under normal and under pathological conditions. Reinhard Jan. <laughs> Jan has pioneered the molecular characterization of synaptic vesicles, making key contributions to our understanding of how they fuse with the plasma membrane to release neurotransmitter. Jonathan Jones. <laughs> Jones was the first to identify plant cell surface immune receptors and provided crucial insights into how plant immune receptors function in the first place and how their genes co-evolve with parasites and pathogens.
That's Yajit Mayor. <laughs> Jitu Mayor has pioneered micro microscopy, microscopy methods for understanding the organization of proteins on the plasma membrane which, and generating new theories of plasma membrane dynamics and associated biological functions. Shigekazu Nagata. <laughs> Nagata's pioneering work on the molecular basis of receptor-induced apoptosis, a form of programmed cell death, has revealed the importance of this process in autoimmunity. Abraham Nitsen. <laughs> Nitsen has made pioneering contributions to the theoretical framework in which we understand chemical dynamics in condensed phases and at interfaces. Carlos Nobre. <laughs> Nobre has led in understanding of the Amazon forest and shown the world how ecosystem processes in the Amazon will determine the future climate biosphere system of Earth. Rafael Roddy. <laughs> Roddy has clarified the mechanisms of nitric oxide dependent toxicity. He characterized the role of this toxicity in mitochondrial dysfunction and, op and apoptosis and its impact in disease states. Mordecai Moti Segev. <laughs> Segev is known for discoveries on optical solitons for the observation of Anderson localization of light in a perturbed photonic lattice, for the first photonic topological insulator, and for the invention of sparsity-based sub-wavelength imaging and super-resolution. Nahum, Nahum Sonnenberg. <laughs> Sonnenberg discovered translational control mechanisms that play roles in cancer, in metabolism, development, learning, and memory, and autism. His discoveries in translational control have been transformational themselves. Neil Stanseth. <coughs> Stanseth has pioneered studies of how past and present climate change influences the ecology and evolution of broad spectrum of ecological systems, including lemmings, cod, and plague. He's also the immediate past president of the Norwegian Academy of Sciences.
Jan Svoboda. Svoboda is known as a father of modern retrovirology. He crafted the provirus hypothesis concurrently with Howard Temin to elucidate mechanisms of retroviral infection and transformation. Now we have one member who was elected the year before, 2014, Joseph Puglisi. <laughs> Puglisi pioneered the application of nuclear magnetic resonance, NMR, and single molecule fluorescence to determine RNA structure and to observe the molecular motions of the ribosome in real time. Is there anyone whom I have missed? <laughs> no, all right, thank you. Well, before we adjourn to the Great Hall for a reception where each of us has more of a chance to congratulate the new members and to thank them for being here, let's have one final round of applause for all of them. Thank you. <laughs> The reception will be in the Great Hall and the East Court and the West Court, which are adjacent. Thank you.